Hey, hey, this video is part two to a video I did last week. Go watch that too. Okay, we're finally getting to making our choker. For the wrist cuts last week, I didn't have an actual pattern to work from. I just reverse engineered the pairs I already have and went from there. But for the choker, we're following an otome no sewing pattern. This is, I believe, originally from volume seven, but I'm lifting from their first best compilation issue, page 72. It's classified under classic Lilia pieces, but you can switch the colors and materials around to fit any style you want. That's exactly what I'm doing. The instructions call for satin ribbon, but I don't trust satin to hold up the weight of the cameo properly. I mean, look at the close-up on this model. That is a gap. No one wants that. We're using velvet ribbon instead. It's sturdier and goes better with the style I'm going for. So with that small change, we will need a yard of 7 8 inch wide velvet ribbon, a yard of 3 8 inch satin ribbon for the decorative bow, a cameo charm, two ribbon crimps the size of the main ribbon, 22 millimeters in my case, a lobster clasp, a two inch extender chain, six side drilled teardrop beads, and a whopping 14 jump rings, six and four millimeter, six and five millimeter, and two and six millimeter. You shouldn't actually need more than a half yard for the main ribbon, that's just how much I bought, but I like to account for mistakes. You'll also need jewelry pliers, a jump ring opener, and an awl to poke your holes for the rings. The one I have is 0 .60 inch. I tried using my pins, they're too small. Investments, people. Measure your neck and cut a piece an inch to an inch and a half shorter. For example, my neck is around 15 inches, so I'm gonna cut 14. The extender will make it up. Next is the ribbon crimps. When you get them, they're already open and you'll need those jewelry pliers to attach them. Be careful when lining them up. Very easy for them to turn out crooked. Next we want to attach the 6mm jump rings to each end and put on the lobster clasp on one side and the extender on the other. Now for the hard part, the beads. The instructions call for a very specific type of teardrop pearl beads sold by Toho, a Japanese bead maker, but those only come in white and even if they did come in black, I can only find them on Japanese Amazon, so to Etsy I went. These are a bit smaller than the ones the pattern calls for and I had to actually get a pearl reamer to enlarge the holes before putting the rings in, but it worked out fine. As we see here, you want to put the 5mm rings in the beads and put the 4mm ones through the ribbon.
Now that that's done, we can finally hand stitch our cameo charm in. Make and attach our bow. And our choker is complete.